12 things you should know about miniature schnauzers. The miniature schnauzer is a breed of small dog of the schnauzer type that originated in Germany in the mid to late 19th century. The breed developed from crosses between the standard schnauzer and smaller breeds such as the Poodle and Athen Pincher, as farmers bred a small dog that was an efficient ratting dog. Miniature schnauzers vary tremendously in personality, from merry and extroverted, to serious and introspective. This breed is adaptable, makes an excellent traveling companion, and even if slightly spoiled, doesn't take as much advantage of it as many other terriers. Since most of them never reach a weight of more than 15 pounds, the breed remains one of the most popular worldwide. If you are planning on welcoming a miniature schnauzer puppy into your family here is the list of 12 important facts about the breed. Personality A miniature schnauzer is full of life. An extrovert, he loves to be in the thick of family action. He may even run up to you while you're sitting down and throw his paws around your neck. He wants to touch you and be next to you all the time, and you can bet he'll want to sleep plastered to your side. He is extroverted with moderately high energy and just wants to have fun. And being with you is fun, no matter what you do. He's incredibly loyal to his family and he requires a great deal of attention. Activity Despite his small stature, the miniature schnauzer is not a lapdog. He's athletic and energetic and needs more daily exercise than just going around the block. A miniature schnauzer also enjoys larger quarters and is great with suburban or farm families, and there might be some rats out there he can take care of for you. He adapts well to any climate, but he can gain weight quickly if he's not exercised or fed properly. He loves to have a yard to play in, but he'll do well without one if you give him a long walk every day. He needs about an hour of daily exercise. Temperament Lively and active, the miniature schnauzer has a larger-than-life personality and loves to participate in everything you do. He'll follow you around the house and always alert you to someone at the door. They tend to be excellent watchdogs with a good territorial instinct, but more inclined toward barking than biting. Some miniature schnauzers will put on a display of excited ferociousness when other people or animals approach what is theirs. His natural tendency toward barking can be curbed through training so that he's not an annoyance to people who aren't deaf. Relationship with other pets Some miniature schnauzers have strong instincts to chase and seize small fleeing creatures. If you own a pet rabbit or hamster, even after they've gotten used to each other, it's best not to leave them together unsupervised. Although he may chase the family cat for fun, he's seldom serious about it. Some are scrappy with other dogs of the same sex, but it is a tribute to their overall amiability that miniature schnauzers can often be grouped together with little or no bickering. Socialization as with every dog, the miniature schnauzer needs early socialization, exposure to different people, sights, sounds, and experiences. Your miniature schnauzer puppy is capable of learning socializing skills at an early age, but it's important to introduce him gently into strange surroundings that may be overwhelming for him at first. With gentle understanding and good training skills on your part, you can expect your miniature schnauzer puppy to become lovably sociable, and accepted among your circle of family and friends. Mind of their own the best miniature schnauzers are very smart and capable of learning a great deal, but they must be taught at an early age that they are not the rulers of the world. The toughness that makes them suited to killing vermin can frustrate you when you try to teach them anything. Some miniature schnauzers are manipulative and or dominant and will make you prove that you can make them do things. You must show them, through absolute consistency that you mean what you say. Training Because he can be trained so easily, he tends to do well in obedience and agility competitions. Miniature schnauzers also participate in earth dog trials and often excel at them. After all, digging is what they were bred to do. That also means you can expect the occasional decapitated rodent on your doorstep. Unlike a cat's offering, this is not a love gift but spoils going to the warrior who nailed the beast. Ear cropping Ear cropping is generally done in 8 weeks of age, so if you have a puppy selected from a breeder's litter, let them know whether or not you want your miniature schnauzer's ears cropped. Traditionally dog show winners have had cropped ears, so many show people wish to keep the cropped ears because they believe they can't win without them. Docking of tails and cropping of ears has become a controversial practice, especially for non-working dogs, and is now illegal or restricted in a number of countries worldwide. Tail docking Tail docking is called for in the breed standard. The original purpose of docking, or shortening, the tail was to prevent injuries while running in the field. Docking is usually done at 3 or 4 days of age, so it can be difficult to find a puppy without a docked tail, if permitted. If you desire a puppy with an undocked tail you will have to inform the breeder in advance or as soon as the puppy is born. A miniature schnauzer can be shown with an undocked tail, but it's considered a fault, 
which makes it more difficult to win. Grooming Schnauzers require regular grooming, either by stripping, mostly seen in show dogs, or by clipping, a shortcut usually reserved for family pets. Stripping removes the loose, dead coat, it may be done by hand, called finger stripping, or plucking, or with a stripping knife, either way, it is a laborious process. All schnauzers, whether they are miniatures, standards, or giants, often sport a beard, created by allowing the hair around their noses to grow out. Left unclipped or unstripped, the body hair will grow 2 to 4 inches, and will often tangle into mats and curls. Health While generally a healthy breed, miniature schnauzers may suffer health problems associated with high fat levels. Such problems include hyperlipidemia, which may increase the possibility of pancreatitis though either may form independently. Other issues are diabetes, bladder stones, and several types of eye diseases. One of them is the cataract, which is an opaque cloudiness that gradually covers the eye lens. Vision is affected and ranges anywhere from slight impairment to blindness. Do not buy a puppy whose parents are not certified by the Canine Eye Registration Foundation CRF. Feeding It's important that your miniature schnauzer gets the proper amount and right kind of proteins, fats, carbohydrates, vitamins, and minerals, in the foods he eats, as each one plays a vital role in keeping your miniature schnauzer healthy. People are usually divided between wet and dry dog food and whatever your preference, and some people like to use both, just make sure to choose a healthy dog food with high quality ingredients. It almost goes without saying that a highly active dog will need more food daily than a couch potato dog. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment and subscribe.